Ladies and gentlemen, Mixjack is an AI analyzing tool for your mixes and masters for your music pretty much. So apparently you throw in upload your music here and the AI tells you what you're missing, what you can improve if everything is working fine. And I'm gonna test it now to the core with later my own songs. First though, I'm gonna throw some popular well-known songs in there to see what those AI tools say to those masterpieces. I have three songs prepared. The first one is Ed Sheeran's I See Fire. So where are my comparison songs for Clack songs means comparison songs. And let's see. Is your track a mix or master? Okay. So I guess loudness control will be a big part of the master. So let's throw in master. Ah, oh, genre. Damn it. Oh, it's not pop. Right, it's not pop. Let's just use pop. And it's checking. If you don't know the song, you will easily find it. I can play it. Because of copyright issues, I can try my best to sing it. Oh boy. Oh boy. I see the... Oh, it's already loading. I see the fire on the mountain below. Be careful, watcher, my brother too. And if the sky is fire and blue, uh, keep watching over to the sun. I can't re remember any lyrics for the clipping yes wah wah it's an mp3 maybe that's why it's clipping so it already gave us something and it tells me it's clipping which uh, i can't quite believe it's probably because it's an mp3 data mono capability is something that doesn't tell me too much either Integrated loudness. Okay, I have something else here that I can use as comparison. Where is it? Where is it? Loudness penalty analyzer. Loudness penalty analyzer. I also used it as comparison to how loud my mixes are with. Um, with the actually good songs. Damn it, where is it? So that is what the loudness penalty analyzer tells me about Ed Sheeran's song and I've seen mostly famous well-known songs being uh, popular modern, modern, especially modern songs being between the 2.5 and the 4 mark, minus 2.5 or minus 4, that's pretty much the norm and then it gets turned down a little bit by Spotify and so loudness penalty analyzer that's a good thing to know uh, but so far i don't quite see any useful info here maybe it will help me more with my own songs that i more know more of also loofs ah, i didn't even know this now where that's minus 11 loofs I never work with that, sorry. You could try adding some high frequency EQ to make the vocals and instruments sound brighter and more present. Be careful not to overdo it, as too much high end can make the track sound harsh. That's what they have to say about Ed Sheeran's. <laughs> I see fire. Too loud for more streaming service. A bit wide in the stereo field. This could be an artistic choice, it sounds amazing. In this song especially. Clipping occurring. Check for any audible distortion. Let's check if the other famous songs do have clipping too. Mono compatibility. I heard and played this song in the sauna. Where it's definitely stereo and it sounds badass. And uh, I don't feel like. I don't know. I haven't tested it in mono. Okay next song. Next song. 
Okay, here we have Muse Madness. There we can see the name of the song. It's at minus five apparently, which I, yeah, I guess. No, I guess that Children's Icy Fire does sound a little bit more silent. And this is more powerful and that's minus five explains a lot. And here it's not finished writing, but we have definitely clipping here too. Uh, I hope I'm correct with electronic. My general knowledge is bad as so all hell. That's why I'm just having so many different songs and so different generous to peak loudness face issue okay i don't i don't i don't it's the curfew is pretty much the same the tone and brofa oh it tells me the same thing it tells me probably the same thing eh yeah that's the same thing why in the stereo fields Phase issue. Okay, this is completely the same thing. Okay, next song is a rap song. A hip hop song I like a lot. No Church in the Wild, which is Kanye West, Frank Ocean, and JC, and it's at minus four. So this is all over the board. It's not the official version. That might be a problem. I feel like it's a little bit of a mixed up version. Maybe a little bit, a little bit louder. And I feel like, okay, the stereo field is something different. Fa no phasing. Integrated loudness. It is clipping. Everything's clipping. Maybe clipping is the solution. Perfect songs. Sample rate. We, we also got that. It's MP3. Everything is MP3 here. My sample rate will be higher. And... Uh, to improve the tone and profile of hip hop crime track, try using an equalizer to boost the high frequencies. Oh my god, yep, that's pretty much my experience with AI music tools, anyways. Ozone, for example, it always boosts the highs. Maybe it is actually that necessary, especially for my voice, which ain't that good, anyways. I need more experience and more practice. But yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. It appears to be clipping. And that is pretty much the basics here. So let's use one of my own songs. And it's the thing you hear in the background already. It's called, well, Patrick Steele, Steel Neon Humming. I'm gonna throw that in there. I don't need to open something. I have it right here. Different versions of it. And... That's uh, not the right version. There we go. This one. Master. Mm. Damn it. I could go low fire, I guess. Sure. Let's go with that and throw it in here, which I always do before releasing a song. Oh, I need to click that again so I can refresh it. I always test my loudness peaks, but this not that important as long as it's in the minus i guess no nah, it's not that important that's the wrong song i just that's the wrong song damn it i pulled the wrong song in there um mm, damn it that's not where i should be at all right oh god damn i have no order here let's just use this version it's a similar version but not the same Oh, they're done. Yeah, probably they're gonna tell me more high ends. Yeah, it's not that loud. Temperate to get it right. Bit depth. Nothing here. No clipping. Good job, Patrick. The only song so far that was not clipping. True peak. Upper mids and very, very low highs. So everything had more upper mids so far and the highs were very much in the same spot. I'm gonna test a few different songs of mine and probably also play them in the background. Boost the high mid and high frequencies. Okay, that changed because I have not very much upper mids here too. Uh, maybe too loud. Limited dynamic range. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna search oh, the, the next song. This is a hip hop song of mine. So you will just hear the instrumental instrumental of it. The instrumentals. It's Patrick Steele and I'll get the boat too. Which is I have so many different versions and I haven't sorted through them. I don't even know if that's the right version I just threw in there. But minus eight, so a little bit more silent than most other pop songs. And here I guess the most interesting thing for me is tone and profile, which is pretty much the exact same thing that I had before. And stereo field is narrow too. Anything. No clipping at least. Um, I'm guessing it will be pretty similar for mine. Maybe that's the big lesson I can learn here. Boost your upper mids. The next song is another deep fall. The instrumentals are not in the background. No instrumentals in the background here. But that's the loudness analyzer. And this time I have upper mids but this song is something I'm actually not that happy with. Uh, I feel like it was too muddy, especially the rap verses. Uh, but uh, I guess this one is the best thing I've gotten out of here so far. It has more capability, no clipping, sample rate is good, integration of true peak loudness is good, no face issue, so I guess the song I'm putting in here that I'm the least happy with actually got the best results. Try boosting the high end with a high shelf EQ or brightening blogging. Huh. That's a new tip. That's funny. A little bit narrow. I always have that apparently. So it meets more width. Currently, I can't even remember what they told me, uh, but Ed Sheeran was very wide, I believe. Ed Sheeran's RC Fire. Oh, okay, okay, one more, one more, one more of my songs, and then uh, something else from someone else. This song is also not in the background, it's still Noah's beat. It's called Ripcore. Ignore the two, it's my, or oh, it will be my first heavy metal song, it's not released yet. And to true heavy metal fashion, it's pretty, pretty goddamn loud up there. Minus seven three, so that one will be released in the future. And here we have the same thing with previous songs, even though I feel pretty good about that song. Siri Field is wide this time. Still no clipping. Maybe I just need to transient boost everything up. I should probably look up more popular songs to see if everything is actually clipping as a good lesson. So I... Uh, uh, everything is clipping. I don't know, I don't know. If that's just MP3 ver versions. I've thrown my MP3 in there too, but uh, it's a downloaded MP3. Oh, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, too loud. Limited dynamic range. It's it is heavy metal. It needs to be boomy as hell. You will see. You will see. Look at that. That's how heavy metal should look like. I feel like. Okay, let's check some more popular songs. We got the very well known Dragon Bone Man Human. The song Human. I'm only human. I'm still writing myself a report. We got it here at minus five nine, which I guess the first thing I said with the loudness, it's all over the place. It's just all over the place. Apparently, it does really not matter. Clipping, it is clipping. Huh. I'm probably need to overthink that none of my stuff stuff is clipping, but everything else is clipping. And the upper mids are more high in this song, but it's gonna tell me to boost the highs anyways. Yep. 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 Okay, I'm gonna throw more of my songs in now. I'm curious if I got one to clip at least. That's the goal, right? Make your songs clip. This is the last song 
of this video and my own song again Patrick do you feel this this one must clip because I put the drums up after limiting so it's it's got a clip right it's at minus 6.2 which is well it's more so a party song uh, it, uh, wait for it wait for it it's gonna pop in a second now I'm sure of it okay here we have it written down so it got a slow intro no clipping damn it do i need to google how to make my songs actually clip very field wide okay this is also pretty good looking i would say i'm actually quite happy with the song and spa high frequency sparkle yes too loud a bit wide i feel like the stereo field is just them complaining about the stereo field i don't feel like there was a normal option so far but no clipping i apparently need to find out how to make my songs clip if you have more clue than me with that tell me in the comments oh i i also threw in the genre unknown and it automatically predicted it as electronic so it actually did protect my music genre for me which is something i guess i can test myself out right now if i find a song that i can use and test it with let's feel this i have so many different mastered versions that it's actually quite difficult okay i have some other well-known songs or known songs in here mm. Yeah, the XXX intro. Let's throw that in there, unknown. And we're gonna see what this gonna bring me up. So it's an outro thing. This one is quicker because it's just analyzing the loudness. But that might be a cool feature for the future to just get a comparison, a free one. Mix Check Studio is free, by the way. I um, probably could throw in some articles there for you to check out. I've seen one, that's how I got to know this one. That's just, okay, that's just a tutorial video of them explaining what it is. That's, it's, oh no, I saw a German article. That's pretty much the world's first golden ear robot. The first words golden eared robot damn it why is there a tongue breaker from a german tongue Tuction expert you already have a video on it damn those youtubers are quick eh, it's not loading let's not check it out minus three seven four the xx intro and let's see general electronic maybe you're just guessing everything is electronic i'm gonna f it's clipping damn it i'm gonna throw a hip-hop song in there just to check it the curiosity um Kanye West Runaway I don't have too much in here as comparison songs oh no let's see let's see is my song still going this up oh, that's the wrong button that's a weird song to make a video with in the background it's not capable as a background song I would say and we had run away mm, load faster yeah okay that's pretty basic i guess it's electronic now when you go in unknown it's just gonna give you electronic anyways very balanced oh look at that balanced dairy field good job Kanye west still clipping everything is clipping I feel like so far that might have been the best results. Why is everything clipping? Tell me, please. Balanced stereo field. Never saw that before, I'm sure. Okay, okay. This is definitely interesting to check out and compare your own songs to other artists' songs. I feel like that's the best feature it has so far. 
and weirdly every sample rate is pretty low maybe because i'm just checking out a little bit older songs but yeah everything is clipping everything is clipping might just be because of the mp3 download versions does look pretty solid here hmm. yeah if you want more of that and actually have some recommended songs you would want me to check out for you if you don't want to do the footwork on your own i'm gonna link you those sites of course but uh you can write me that if you have some songs you want to be checked out i definitely have more songs on my own that i can also compare to that and i need to make my songs clip i guess is the thing i've learned so far hmm. Face eight. 